Hey, what's up guys? This is Gary coming back to you here from the Ramsey Custom Shop. And today we got a little bit of a different look at the True Cut CNC 4x8 Series 1 plasma table and just a different way you can use it um, rather than always having to have a CAD drawing or cutting out, you know, some kind of formal, uh, you know, CAD cam setup that you can use the, the table in more of a, of a manual way. So we today we've got this uh, bracket here that we are uh, cutting out a stainless and uh, it's a quarter inch thick inch and a half wide uh, I think it's about eight or eight inches long or so if I remember correctly I was having a difficult time getting it to cut accurately and straightly mainly because I was uh, Trying to you know be inexpensive save the customer some money and cut this out of some Some two inch flat bar. I'm just gonna give you a look at what was happening here um, This particular one. I was just trying to cut a strap out uh and then here's like where that came out of but you can see how crooked that cut was there um if you if you look at that just going in and out what was happening is you know back this away you can see how much warpage was going on in the middle of the cut and um you know which i have heard is a, a pretty big issue with stainless depending on what you're cutting it with now if we were cutting this out of a full quarter inch sheet the rest of the sheet may hold it together and you know keep it from doing that but trying to get this out of quarter inch uh by two flat bar and you're cutting away most of the material yeah we were we were struggling with that so here's what um here's what i ended up doing i, I took the two inch flat bar over to the bandsaw and cut down the pieces at the right length all right so now what we have what i did was i took those and put some tacks on them on each end of it and try to keep the tack low and to the side as much as possible to keep these guys from wanting to kind of raise up and i tacked it to some three quarter by four flat bar uh, obviously very heavy very you know rigid you're not going to bend that on the uh on the hard way you know through warpage or whatever the only concern is you know will the tacks hold up or will it want to pull them away but we're gonna you know we're not going to use any cad program we're not going to use any uh, you know simple you know, fancy stuff. We're going to use the rip cut feature in Mach 3 uh, Which is you know, basically click a couple of buttons and you're you're ripping away at it So let me get it set up. I'll show you that. All right So just real quick on the setup again, we got our three quarter inch by four flat bar We've got some three eighths by three angle iron that we're using just basically to space uh, square up the work to the uh, edge of the table and the, Again, those are just in there to get ourselves squared up with an easy reference and not measuring anything um, right here, we've got a little line that represents the cut line that we're targeting. Now, you're doing this by eyeball. You're trying to manually by eye um, line that up and also account for the kerf that's going to cut. So I think we've got that. We're looking to get a half inch off of the edge of this. Um, and again, it doesn't have to be like dead on, but we're going to measure it at the end. We're going to measure uh, the trueness from one end to the other and then how close we were able to get it. Um, so let me show you real quick in Mach 3. Sorry about the messy table here um so you want to use the rip cut feature and uh just ask you what the cut length is uh the six inch is the real length but we're going to go 6.25 just to make sure we run off the end and cut all the way through it we are going to be in the x axis and uh we're going to be going in the positive direction if we were going in the negative direction we would just put a negative in front of this number but we are going to be going in the positive direction in the x axis um we've already got our um feed rate set at 75 which is uh just under what the book recommends for this uh type of uh for this thickness with the tip that we're running so um that's it you just click a couple of numbers and hit okay and off we'll go so we'll click okay there and we'll see how well we do here All right, I'm gonna cut the other four and then we'll take a look at the parts and see how accurate and how well we did. All right, that worked out well. Let's uh, get our piece off the table and take it over the bench and see what we, uh, what we got. I think one of the things that we did by doing this is we controlled the distortion and allow the distortion to occur in our sacrificial piece that we don't need. 
you can see how it's sort of bowed in that way um, and we kept our good piece that we want where we wanted it so uh, let me get these uh, broken apart and I'm going to uh, uh, just deburr the edges and get the dross off of them um, and then we'll just measure them and measure from end to end to see if we got run out you know from one end to the other so we should just be able to peel that off and then this yeah should break off of there pretty easily all right I just did a quick cleanup and, and got the burrs uh, off the edges and if you see there there's still the plasma cut edge on that so just to let you know that I uh, did not mess with the edge uh, all I did was run a uh, uh, just you know ground uh, ran on the, on the grinder over there to to get it true up so the first thing I want to do is measure uh, in the center on all four of these and see how much variation we get and again I'm just using some uh, calipers for this so all right so uh, our target was inch and a half and you see that we're we're a little under that we're one fourth uh, 360 there one inch 436 so let's check this one one inch 445 I'm gonna tilt that around where you can see it so about ten thousandths off between those two and uh, one inch 52 look like we were getting a little bit of run out you know as we went down through the part let's check this one one inch 445 so we're, we're within you know in the range of twenty thousandths across all those you know we're talking about a plasma table with a rough cut three by uh, three quarter inch flat bar, which you have no idea, uh, you know, how straight that thing is. We were just, you know, kind of taking it for granted that that's a good reference point. But overall, I'm happy with that. We're a little under uh, at what our target was. Again, that was an eyeball thing. So now let's check the taper from one end to the other uh, on a couple of them just to see what we got here. So see how square these are. So I got one, four, four, one, and we'll come down one four four one how about that so not bad at all one four four five i got that a little kicked on an angle there so let me measure that better see what we get there we go there's our one four four oh and one four four oh again depending on how you're holding it and that edge you know isn't it's still got a little bit of a kind of a roughness to it um, but you know in terms of uh, draft on it or anything it, it's to me it looks uh, pretty square uh, we, we could uh, check that let me grab a all right here's a little square let's get you a look at it so we're gonna look at this edge and uh, we're gonna make sure we're square up against the back of it there and then get a look down the, the line so it might be just a tiny bit of draft but there's so many variables you know how you have your torch set up on the table and a lot of things can affect that but in general i'm i'm happy with it so we're ready to get these on and and use them get them cleaned up and do some beveling on the edges and you and get them bent on a 45 or a 90 actually uh to put on our project but i uh, tell you guys um the uh the true cut cnc four by eight plasma table is is really a game changer in a fab shop and there's just so many different ways that you can use it you know just what you saw there when you when you just think that you're limited to one way um, here's another way to, to, to use it. So if you're interested in knowing more about True Cut CNC, check the link to the description. You'll go out to the website and see the line of tables that they offer in a lot of different sizes and options and uh, grades and so forth. So go check it out. Thanks, guys. See you.